everybody, Michael here from Zenimbros, and I figured I'd give you a guide on Marquee. So this would be my basic setup. I do the right one for extra movement speed because I like the movement speed, camp. like with all my characters, pretty much. You guys see that? Okay, and then I do the left one, so that way it's a guaranteed hit. I don't care if they're invisible or not because they still hit, guaranteed. So that kind of makes up for it. Um, and then I do the middle one here. I normally do recoil unless you unlock the middle one, which is the two clip size, so that's what I do. And then I do area of effect, so that way I get more team movement speed in a certain area. And then I'll go with the left one, which is I do extra damage on the second shot instead of the third. Yeah, the, the bonus damage is good, but that's better. And then I do predatory cast dam distance, which allows my owls to kind of go out farther which i like and then i do reload speed and attack speed instead of damage the damage one is good but with this build you'll see why and then i also do the left one again which is the damage over time when they hit they leave like a little area do damage it's really good Hostile better than the double attack in. in my opinion and then i do the right one which makes the enemies even slower which is really good with the speed boost and then i do the left one which makes me do an extra shot with a little bit less damage per shot and then my build would be attack speed as you guys can see attack speed attack speed maximum health, attack damage shield penetration health regen that's i mean you can kind of mix it up still but i'm showing you guys my ideal build with him because he just yeah i did make a couple builds with him but this one was one of my favorite now if you want all out damage i might make um another one later because i've leveled him up a lot and this I found a little bit better build but for now this is the build that I really use the most I guess because the attack speed just really makes a difference so hopefully you guys figure out a better build or if you have a better build whatever you can tell me but this is my idea build because it works pretty good with my my play style It helped if I hit him too, but. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just go ahead and show him off though, how much damage he can put out, I guess. With him, I always go straight for the turns though, because. I mean, those are annoying and he can just shred through them especially the silver penetration so that's what i'm doing or getting ready to do crap but yeah so there is there is another way you can build them where you do straight critical hit damage but i'm not the best sniper so this is my ideal guide if you're decent at sniping and you want to try him out when i first used him he was like my least favorite character but i decided to give him a try again because well he was pretty good when I was battling people that used him. So I was like, huh, maybe they can make him better. And they clearly did. Or something. Because as you can see, I mean, you just tear him up. Because your attack speed's so high. And you do, I mean, you do high damage because you're a sniper. And then you have high attack speed, so it just, it just makes up for it. And then that shield penetration health Ascension regen really helps too, five. as you can see. <laughs> Enemies are attacking a mercenary camp. Power play. Enemy forces at 40% strength. Enemies have engaged with Thrall mercenaries. So yeah, that's my ideal um, build. So, like I said, if you guys know a better one or want me to make a certain guide or maybe just try out a certain 
certain setup or something, Contract go ahead and signed. let me Roll know in the comments here. below. I, I'll try to read them all and, you know, go from there. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, I am trying to, like I did, like I said, do a whole bunch of character guides and stuff. But I need to figure out what characters I want to, you know, do for the guide. And if I want to do them all, I might end up doing them all. But I do want to do a guide at the very end once I get them maxed, so that way I can be like, well, this is what they're like when I maxed them out. So it's kind of like a updated version. So I don't know. I don't even know how these are gonna do because this game's really. Really not that popular, which is kind of sad, but I don't know. If you guys show it some support, I'll keep doing it. I've, I've got one more plan after this for now, and then that'll be it, I guess, for a while, unless I get positive feedback. So, if you guys like this kind of kind of stuff, I mean, I will try to do better commentary next time, too. But this one was kind of like, well, that's his guy, uh, build. <laughs> There's not much I can t say about this, guys. Because he's just straight damage. I mean, there's a different build I could show you guys, I guess. But I might do that one later if you guys want to see that. But anyways, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let the game, you know, continue. Let you see me kill some more people. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. And as always, I'll see you guys later. Under attack. <laughs> 